This afternoon, we're learning about the ripple effect of school bus driver shortages on schools, students and families across the country. Some states have gone as far as calling in the National Guard for help, and among them is Maryland, where some schools in the biggest district have been forced to return to remote learning. Errol Barnett has been hearing about that impact. From the nation's capital to the Lone Star State, parents remain under pressure. A lot of buses called out. The ongoing shortage of bus drivers already full schools in at least nine states to request assistance from the National Guard. But it's been more than two weeks since Maryland's biggest district sent its own SOS. They are still inclined to try and help us, but they're looking for resources to do it. In a statement to CBS News, Maryland's National Guard says it's supporting the state's Department of Health with testing and other actions, including patients patient transport due to the current COVID surge. There's just no certainty about what will happen. For mother of two, Melissa Ladd, no guard means an inconsistent bus schedule, which has kept her from substitute teaching. I haven't been able to assist the school district in a time of great need and staffing shortages. All of this forcing schools to recalculate bus routes every 24 hours. Well, it gives us very, very little room. Uh, to uh, make arrangements. As the mother of two teenagers, Urania Benicio faces frustrating choices. We have to be on, on site to be able to do our jobs. Uh, and it's either that or we stay home to take care of our children. As of Thursday, 16 Montgomery County public schools went virtual until at least the end of the month, as it sees record quarantine numbers of staff and students, who officials acknowledge are struggling. You know, the learning loss that we're now mitigating from earlier pandemic disruptions or earlier pandemic virtual learning is in many ways a significant amount of work to make up for a lot of these students. Errol Barnett, CBS News, Rockville, Maryland.